Hey guys, today I'm going to show you an example of extremely fast level design using the geometry script system, uh, specifically using some of the tools that were in the Lyra starter game that was introduced in the State of Unreal livestream. And I'm also going to use a couple of my own tools, but I'm going to show you how to migrate those properly from the Lyra project to your own project and how to get started uh, with the cold storage system and how to properly use the tools. Okay, so I'm going to start out in the project that I want to bring the tools into and I'm going to make sure I've gone to edit, plugins, and I'm going to look for geometry script. And so I've already enabled this, make sure you have this enabled and you'll need to restart your editor. And once that's done, I'm going to hop over to the Lyra project here. And in the tools folder, the first thing I'm going to do is grab the three subfolders and I'm going to right click and migrate and I'm going to find my content folder for my new project. All right, and then next, I'm going to grab all of these enums and all of the files basically except for the tools themselves and right click and go to asset actions, migrate, and I'm going to migrate those as well. Okay, and with that done, I'm going to grab the nine tools here and migrate these. Okay, and then you're gonna get a message here that says that some assets don't have corresponding content root in the destination. Uh, so the Lyra example content, because it's a plugin folder, uh, basically it's just asking, would you like to migrate all the selected assets into a folder with the consolidated references? And so sure, that works, no problem. I'll say yes, and we'll just call this uh, migrated tools. All right, so uh, it's copied those files over. And now I can go ahead to my other project and we'll open that tools. And we can see here, we also have the migrated tools folder. And this is basically copied over everything that it needed uh, to everything that's used within these tools. Uh, so I'm actually just gonna grab the tools themselves here uh, and drag these back to the tools folder so that it looks the same as our tools folder from Lyra. All right, uh, and so now I can get started here. And before I get started, what I wanna do is I need to make sure I make a couple changes here. So I've got this folder baked generated mesh system and inside is this generated mesh cold storage actor. And this is important. You need to drag one of these out into your scene and then it can work behind the scenes to keep track of generated meshes and their counterpart, the baked static mesh. Uh, so once you've got one of those dragged out into the scene, uh, there's one more thing I'm going to do here. I'm going to go to the base classes and open up the baked generated mesh actor. And I'm just going to make a couple changes here in the details. By default, uh, we have is in plugin selected and I don't want to do that. I don't want to save this in a plugin folder. I want to save this in just the regular content folder. So I'll deselect that. Uh, I can clear out plugin name and you could put in a different path name if you want to change where your meshes are going to be stored uh, in your main content route. All right, so I'll compile that and uh, close. And now I can get to work building something with these tools. And when I go ahead and use the functions to uh, swap this to a static mesh, for example, now I've got my uh, tool stored here, ZZ stored tool, and my generated tube here has been turned into this baked static mesh actor. All right, and so now I can right click, I can switch that back. For example, I can go back and forth uh, making changes and uh, uh, switching it back to static meshes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and get started uh, building something, and I'm just gonna speed it up and time lapse this part because uh, it's kind of boring. I'm just gonna build a bunch of these tools and uh, move them around, duplicate them, try out different stuff here, and uh, just kit bash together a scene here, a building something very quickly.
All right, so I'm basically done this building here and I was able to get that done relatively quickly using those geometry script tools. Um, and so what I'm gonna do now is just show you how the cold storage system works. So what I'll do is I'll look in the outliner here and I've got all these tools here representing, uh, well, they're not the tools actually, these are baked static mesh actors now. And a baked static mesh actor is the same as a static mesh actor. Uh, the only difference is there's an additional ver uh, variable here for this source generator key. And that's for the cold storage system to keep track of which static mesh belongs to which original tool. So you could switch back to the tool and make a change later on. Uh, and those tools are stored away. I'll look in the outliner here and I can find all of these ZZ stored uh, prefixes here. And these are the tools that I used to create the building. Uh, and as soon as I baked them to static meshes, it stored these away here. And uh, by default, they're normally hidden. I'm just showing them here uh, so I can show you these. They're actually stored away automatically underneath the map. And if you look at the Lyra maps, uh, these work the same way. Uh, if you uh, enable or uh, disable world streaming, you can see those maps and you can see the master tools uh, below the map. Uh, and same thing here. I've got all of these tools below the map and you don't need to worry about them down there. They're hidden away basically just out of sight uh, so that the system can swap them back and forth for you. Like let's say, uh, you know, maybe I grabbed these stairs here and I decided I wanted to make these uh, different shape or, or something, do something different with these. Uh, and so I can right click here, swap back to my generated mesh and the cold storage actor knew which one to switch between there. All right, and so uh, I'm going to, I'll just uh, control Z here to undo that. And uh, let's go inside here, for example. And uh, what I'll do here is, uh, let's say I wanna make a change to one of these uh, existing uh, meshes here. Uh, or let's say I wanna duplicate this. Maybe I wanna add another floor here. And so I'm gonna use this mesh and duplicate it, but I wanna make some changes. So I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna duplicate this baked static mesh and then right click here and say, uh, swap to generated mesh and make some changes. I'm basically gonna lose my original tool if I do that. So what you need to do is you need to make sure if you're ever duplicating something you've already baked, uh, you need to swap it back to the generated mesh first. So swap to the generated mesh, then make your duplicate, and then make your changes. So uh, let's say I wanted this to be uh, not quite as far out as the first level, maybe only 250, radius 750, uh, and maybe a bit thinner, let's say the height only 15 or something like that. Um, all right, and so then I could go ahead and what I would do is say, uh, generate a new static mesh, and I can right click here and say, swap to static mesh. And uh, now I haven't uh, destroyed anything about this first tool. I can right click here and swap this back to the static mesh as well. And everything is fine. Uh, of course, when you swap back and forth to uh, your static mesh, you lose your material settings uh, unless you have those material settings set up on the tool itself. Uh, in this case, I put the materials on after the fact. Uh, my, uh, I'll switch back to the tool here just to show you. Swap to generated mesh. Uh, obviously you can see there's no material and you can see here in the settings, I never set a material. Uh, if you did set a material here, then when you bake it to the static mesh, the material will go along with it. Uh, but since I didn't do that, the baked version when I swap is uh, unfortunately without the material. So I would just have to drag that back on from my materials folder here, uh, which is really no, no big deal. There we go. Okay, and so uh, that's basically it. That's uh, my look today at the uh, geometry script uh, generated mesh tools and uh, the cold storage system. All right, hopefully it was helpful for you. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.